And that, my friend, is a one-way express ticket to burnout. So let's just trash both of those because they suck and we hate them. The better approach and the one that allows you to actually succeed in every area of your life is hello and welcome back to my channel where I help you slay your career and cultivate the successful life you deserve. Let's cut straight to the chase. Whoever said you couldn't have it all was lying to you or they just hadn't figured it out for themselves. As a successful working mom, one of the top questions that I get is how do you have it all? I'm about to tell you how to achieve work-life balance, but first, I need to ask something of you. If you don't mind, can you please just quickly smash that like button? It really helps my channel. So go ahead, tap it now. Thank you so much. And let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is we need to talk about all of those buzzwords that are buzzing around us all the time. First, it was work-life balance where you were supposed to have buckets and they were the same size and they were, you know, balanced. Then it was integration where it was, I guess, just one big bucket that you were dealing with all the time, which quite frankly is a nightmare because what that big bucket really means is you are dealing with all of the things all of the time. Yep, it's all you. You're on and firing on all cylinders all the time. And that, my friend, is a one-way express ticket to burnout without getting anything done along the way to boot. So let's just trash both of those because they suck and we hate them. The better approach and the one that allows you to actually succeed in every area of your life is having work-life boundaries. Ah, it's like a shining light from beyond. Look, your work is never going to decrease. It is going to demand more and more and more from you at the expense of your friends, your family, and in particular, your me time. And I don't know about you, but I need my me time. It's when I binge watch YouTube. Boundaries are where we acknowledge that we have these different areas of our life and that each should be given time and that time should be protected. I know what you're wondering now, Jennifer, how do I set these work-life boundaries that you speak of? Well, let me walk you through that step by step. The first step to creating work-life boundaries is to know what you really want. What you really, really want. So ask yourself right in town right now, what do you really want? Obviously you can't have it all if you want literally all of the things. But chances are you don't actually want all of the things. When you really pay attention, there's probably only a few things that you do really, really want and that are actually really important to you. Let's figure out what those things are. This is something that I deep dive in with my clients in my career acceleration program, but let's get you on that path right now. Let me ask you this. If you had four buckets, what would they be? Work, family, health and fitness, hobbies, bocce ball. These buckets are the areas of your life that are really important to you. And remember, I said four, don't go try sneaking in extra buckets. You might only have three, but you shouldn't have five is what I'm saying. If you're working through this right now, you can actually pause the video and take a couple of minutes to think about it. Once you know what those buckets are, it's time for us to move into the next step. And this is a step that's really going to change your life. It's time for us to start setting our priorities. Now, I'm a huge fan of a good old fashioned and Eisenhower matrix. And in fact, I have an entire video that I'll link to down below if you want to dig into that. But this is going to be a slightly different approach when it comes to work-life boundaries and knowing what to put into those buckets that are the different facets of our life. It really comes down into these four different things. Concentrate, procrastinate, delegate, and eliminate. Now, obviously I'm making this video that is going to be focused on your career, but you can do this for all of the different buckets. What I would recommend you doing is take time to list all of your major activities and the things that you do that belong in each of those buckets and figure out where those activities fit into those four different categorizations. When it comes to your work bucket, which probably should be a bucket if you're here and trying to advance your career, you really need to map that to your unique awesomeness quotient, your UAQ. If you don't know your UAQ yet, I highly recommend signing up to my workshop, Glow Up Your Career, where we will be figuring out what your UAQ is and we'll even get what you should really be focusing on in order to accelerate your career. When we look at those different activities in each of those buckets, it is going to be the concentrate and the procrastinate that we keep. Everything else, 
can kind of go or we'll just do if we have time. And for those things that are really important that we want to work on right away, it is time for us to move into our next step, which is going to be making the actual time. So this can look a whole bunch of different ways. I mentioned this in one of my recent videos. One of the best ways that we can establish work-life boundaries is to have a start by time and an end by time associated with our workday. Not to say that those are going to be impervious to change, but for the most part, this is going to help you define when you start and when you actually stop working. The next phase is to actually take those activities and the tasks in your work packet that you need to concentrate on or that you can procrastinate and start allocating when you're going to work on them. I'm a huge fan of time blocking. If you're interested in a video on it, let me know in the comments because I would just nerd out doing it quite honestly. But you're not just gonna be thinking about work because Setting that boundary is good, but there are other aspects of your life that you wanna make sure that you're feeling fulfilled on. That's the whole point of this. So for the different buckets, go through those activities and for what is concentrate and procrastinate, set some time or allocate when you're going to do those things. Like is exercising really important to you? Put it on the schedule. Wanna make sure you call your mom every day? Book an appointment. Make a checklist for every day of the week. No matter what works for you, just make sure that you're very aware of the things that are really important to you that you need to do on a regular basis in order to be fulfilled and successful in every area of your life. And that brings us into the next step, which is maintaining our work-life boundaries. And honestly, I wish I can summarize this into just 90 seconds and you would be on your merry way. But it takes a little bit more than that. If you haven't already, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel because my next few videos are going to be about helping you maintain those boundaries, saying no at work, and focusing on the right things. I would love to hear from you. What work-life boundary have you set in the process of this video? Let me know in the comments down below. Work-life boundaries are especially difficult to maintain when you do work from home, especially if you're working from home in a smaller space. Head over to this video right now for some really practical tips and strategies to help you maintain your boundaries between your work and your life. If this video was helpful, make sure and give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend who could use it, and of course, consider subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.